Hey guys, it's George, and Hypen are back with their fourth mini album, Dark Blood, and the title track, Bite Me. The teasers for this look absolutely unreal. The fashion, all of the pearl encrusted jackets. Ooh. As usual, I'm going to react to the MV, then afterwards we're gonna unpack the fashion. And if you want to learn any more about my fashion background, all of that information is in the description box. Let's hit play on Bite Me. <laughs> Bite Me, Edward Cullen. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Fashion Chingu, an affordable online store that recreates K-pop and K-drama fashion, meaning you guys can recreate your favorite idols' looks on a budget. Fashion Chingu have a huge range of clothing collections ranging from in Hypen, BTS, Blackpink, Espa, Twice, TXT, and more so many more. My favorite thing about Fashion Chingu is that they offer free shipping on orders over $60 and they ship almost worldwide. As today's video is all about Inhypen's latest comeback, Bite Me, I wanted to put together an outfit from the Inhypen collection, all black, to fit the mood. These teasers are looking moody and I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm starting off with Jay's black pants that have the white piping down the side stripe. These are a really nice fit, really nice straight leg, very lightweight fabric, perfect relaxed item for summer. And then I'm gonna pair it with Sunyu's black button down shirt. The shirt has this really nice white detailing on the collar and <laughs> the chest pockets which really ties into the white piping on the trousers so beautifully. This is also a really nice relaxed fit, so you're not gonna have any material clinging to you in this spring summer season. I then added this beautiful string of pearls that a friend very kindly gifted me. I added my usual rings, and then I finished off with these earrings I picked up in South Korea. Obviously needed to add some sneakers into the mix, so I went for this nice pair from Nike that have a nice little pop of color. I love this outfit. It's so comfortable and the black and white with the little pop of yellow on the trainer. I've done a great job. I'm gonna toot my own horn. <laughs> Make sure you go check out Fashion Chingu's website and their Inhypen collection. And of course I have a discount code for you guys. So use code George Inhypen at checkout to get 10% off and let me know what you pick up. Thank you once again to Fashion Chingu for sponsoring today's video. Now let's hit play on Bite Me. Ooh. Twisted. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this is some stone head. <laughs> oh my god, that's freaky. It's you and me in this world. Stop. <laughs> the vibe. Ooh. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these jackets. They're so beautiful. <gasps> yes. That's gonna be stuck in my head with Queen Card. <laughs> oh, Lucy. That is yours. <laughs> this is spicy. Go on, Jay. Go on. I'm obsessed with Jay. No, just honestly. <gasps> Stop the dancing. This is sexy. Go on. Dance with your girl. Go in the key. My foolish arrogance I tossed away in the past. The chandelier in the back, that's such a sick visual against the sky. This, this is sick. Go on, Jay. I'm obsessed with the dancers. I can't wait to see this live. The live stages are going to be unreal. I 
feel like this is kind of like 90s boy band vibe to it too. Do you hear it? Or is it me? The class. The red moon. That was a vibe. That was a big, big vibe. That was not what I was expecting. In hype and a back with a spicy, sexy vibe. Yes. The fashion in this MV is just absolutely unreal and it suits the vibe of the song so perfectly. And there are three sets of looks in this MV. The pearl encrusted looks, the black and white tailoring, and then we have that all white set. I'm not gonna speak about the white looks just because we get a quick glimpse of them. So, you know, let's focus on the other two. The pearl encrusted jackets, I feel like this is a classic and hypen look because when we see them on the red carpet, the members usually have a very similar base outfit going on. So the same fit of top, the same fit of trousers, same shoes or similar styles, but then they switch up the cuts of the jackets and the styling of the jackets to give us those individual looks. And that's exactly what's going on with these pearl encrusted jackets. All of the members are wearing those very slim cut leather trousers. And then they've got those black belts of that Western style buckle pulling through the accent of gold. And then all of the members have got these mock neck black sweatshirts. So I'm saying a mock neck because to me, I don't think they're a roll neck because they're not sitting right under the jaw. They're just sitting very slightly up the neck. The jackets themselves are just absolutely beautiful. The different size pearls and then the accents of gold throughout the jacket. It plays off the background of the set beautifully because you're getting that very like pale gold in this kind of like Colosseum setting. So the clothing are accenting off of the sets and the lighting. And then the fact that each member has been finished with gold jewelry to really pull out the gold highlights in the jacket. Perfection. Perfection. Another thing I really appreciate about the styling is that majority of the members in this scene are wearing jackets, but then we have Jay and Hee Sung who are in the crew neck tops, Jay in the short sleeve version, and then Hee Sung in the long sleeve version. I like how they've not been styled with necklaces. They have all of the embellishment around the crew neck, so there's no point, but then the members who have the jackets, they've all been styled with a necklace that accents the gold in the jacket, but the way that the necklaces sit just around the neck. It helps to pull your eye down and follow the line of embellishment in the jacket. It's so perfectly done. I have two favorites from this set. First of all, Jake. The fact that we've got this collarless jacket and then you can see that they've created a border around the jacket in those gold beads. Ah, oh, the border looks so good. The way it accents and contrasts against the pearls and it creates this beautiful line that your eye follows and then you have the raw edge of the fabric. It looks incredible. My other favorite has to be Sunu's. I love the strong shoulders of his jacket and how the size of the pearls right on the top of the sleeve head are so big. So it really just exaggerates that strong shoulder shape. And then you can see across the shoulders, there's that panel of negative space going from his right, left through to his right. But the jacket has this beautiful texture. It's not a plain fabric and it still picks up the light. So it works so beautifully with the embellishment. These jackets are just incredible. I would love to see them close up and just die over the details. When it comes to the black and white looks, in Hypen are giving us a full set of matching looks and for me, in Hypen, just know how to do a matching look or a look where they look like they're matching, but there are slight differences, just like the look that we spoke about. We've seen it a lot from them on the red carpet. So I'm so happy that they've included a look like this in this MV. The black and white look, it's a very slim fitting tailored suit. Where we're getting the flashes of the dancing and all the lighting, I can't really pull out the cuts, but knowing in Hypen, they probably do have slight differences. When we look at this scene four seconds in, where you can see them stood under the lights, and you know, when they look up and it changes to the, the moon, I was about to say the sun, the moon. You can see that some of the members have a double breasted cut on, some of the members have a single breasted cut on, and you can see that some members have an edging around their collar and lapel, and other members have a contrast lapel. So you can see it very slight here, 
But when you get to like the main dance scenes, very hard to pull the details out. But the shirt is a very simple white shirt, just a button down shirt with a standard point collar. And then all of the members have this exaggerated black ribbon bow tie, which I really, really love. And then from what I can see, the jewelry used, they've continued to use gold. So it links it back to their previous look. So it's a continuous flow. And I really appreciate that. It's all about the details. Silver jewelry would have looked good, but the fact they're linking that all the way through the MV is just really clever because it creates continuity. Continuity. Continuity? I don't know, one of those. <laughs> I'm still not over the pearl looks, just the level of embellishment, the different designs of the embellishment. I can't wait to see these on the live stage. I can't wait to see what else in hype and wear on the live stage. It's gonna be like Esper Spicy when I watched every single live stage. I wanna be doing the same. <laughs> Don't forget to go and check out Fashion Chingu's website and use my code GEORGEXINHYPEN at checkout for 10% off. Thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You are the best. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.